Uh, ah, yes, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and that's right, I am back uh, with a new video. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Now, before I begin this video, I would like to implore you to please hit that subscribe button if you are watching this video, if you want to see more videos like it, and, and, and not much else, hit that subscribe button. Very easy. Click one button. Maybe ring that bell to stay notified. So that's clicking two buttons. I know it's a lot, but please do it for me. Okay, so this video is actually being filmed on Valentine's Day here in Australia. So I would like to say to all my subscribers, all my viewers, I love you. Yes, it's taken me a long time to say it, but by golly, it's true. I love you all. And I thought to myself, you know what, whilst I'm in a romantic mood, let's discuss a video that went viral this week, and by golly, if this doesn't get the romantic juices flowing, well, I'm afraid you're in big trouble, because nothing else will. Alright, so this past week there was a video that went viral, and it involves our great, magnificent friend, Mr. 6 9 6069, Takashi69, 69, that wonderful, upstanding citizen that he is. He appeared in a video that was actually a commercial for a place called Romant... <laughs> it's, called, it's called Romantic Depot, okay? And he appeared in a 30-second commercial, and um, it had a certain message attached to it, which uh, you would never associate with Takashi 69 at all if you know anything about his history or his track record or uh, his criminal record. I mean, let's be real, guy's a bit of a dirtbag. So before we get into the actual video, we're gonna start at the 0, 0.00 second mark, okay? So before the video is even played, you see this little text on the bottom left corner, and it says, in no way does Romantic Depot support Takashi 69's past activities. Hmm. Interesting, that seems like a, a fairly logical statement to release. Uh, but hold that thought, please. Hold that thought. And Romantic Depot, would you believe it, has over 100,000 fun items. How can one store contain so many fun items at once? That's... Wow. So the commercial starts with him and his baby mama, or uh, I don't know, some actress that they paid. It's his shouty, I believe, and they enter Romantic Depot looking to spice things up a little bit, have a little bit of fun, maybe purchase one of the 100,000 fun items that they have. Welcome to Romantic Depot. How can I help you guys? Yeah, we're ready to spice things up. You do know you have to know your partner's limitations. And I think the world would be a much better place if salespeople just stepped in and said, Hey guy, you don't need seven cases of Corona. I know you live alone. You don't need to do this to yourself. It's okay. You need to know your limitations. Now we can't ignore the fact that this video looks like it was shot in front of a green screen. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I agree. When I was younger, I used to make a lot of stupid mistakes. I'm ready to learn more. Uh, yeah, I agree. When I was young, I used to make a lot of stupid mistakes. And uh, uh, I also made a stupid mistake uh, one year ago and uh, six months ago. And uh, oh yeah, I think I just made a stupid mistake uh, today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's been making stupid mistakes uh, his whole life. But now it's okay because he has now finally acknowledged the fact that he's made some mistakes in his life and he knows better. And so, so thank you, Dr. Phil. Thank you, Dr. Phil, so much, Miss Miss Romantic Depot employee, Dr. Phil. Thank you so much for getting to the bottom of Takeshi 69's problems. And thank you for setting him on the straight and narrow. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, no, isn't he going to jail for the rest of his life? Ah, but remember, they don't condone any of his past activities. No, no, no. But they'll put him in a commercial uh, where he claims that he has learnt from his mistakes, uh, even though he hasn't. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yes. Get informed. Help stop violence against women. Help stop violence against women. Okay. How do we do that? Hmm. Let's make a commercial with a convicted sexual predator who had relations with underage women and uh, has beat many, many other women, uh, some of which are underage as well. Hmm. Am I... <laughs> Am I missing something? Visit a romantic depot near you and pick up your free pamphlet. <laughs> I love the fact that they're just giving this guy a brochure and he's like, ah, uh, I just came here to buy some lube. I don't really know. I don't, I don't do that stuff. He's like, oh, mm, 
Okay, yeah, yeah, interesting, yeah, of course. Thanks for Romantic Depot. I now know how to treat women with dignity and respect. Uh, really? Uh... Where was Romantic Depot when this guy was like six or seven years old? Maybe they could have been the reason that he set his life straight and he became an upstanding, wonderful part of the community and became someone that children would look up to for years and years to come. But, oh well, I guess hindsight's always 2020, and uh, oh yeah, he's going to jail for the rest of his life. So, oh well. Maybe next time, I guess. Romantic Depot Rockland. Go to romanticdepot.com for directions. And now that his life has been changed, he is now rocking the sickest fit of all time, a Romantic Depot t-shirt that conveniently has their store address on the back. And Romantic Depot, man, they are doing the Lord's work. They are taking the troubled members of society, putting them on the right path, and turning them into, uh, uh, actually, no, he's still exactly the same. Yeah. Huh. Okay, whoa, amazing. Pretty sure that's the worst commercial I've ever seen in my entire life. So naturally, after watching this video, I got stuck down the rabbit hole and just watching the worst commercial videos I could find on YouTube. One of my many, many, many great pastimes in life is watching old commercials. So, yeah, let's check out a few right now. Uh, thanks very much to Sir Cringe for this video, by the way. Let's start from the top and... Uh, wow, bang, bang! Uh, okay. Thinking of the holiday. Days, think bang 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 lady.com <laughs> <I'm pre> <laughs> there's a business in thailand that is going to sue this company if they find out because that name 100 percent has been used before bang bang that's hot happy valentine's day uh -uh, think boom, boom. oh what the hell <laughs> what Totally did not see that coming, by the way. What a swerve. Oh. So I was starting to think that this was an ad for another sex shop, but no, it's just fireworks. So you get bang, bang, and the boom, boom. Choose your fighter, I guess. We have a huge selection of 500 grams to light up your sky. That's hot. Hot! Uh, uh. It's really sad to see that the uh, lady from American Horror Story has fallen on hard times and she's had to resort to becoming the boom boom lady. <laughs> Buy one, get three free. Now that's hot. Buy one, get three free. That is such a great deal. Sign me up right now. See the Bang Bang Lady on 431 South, just eight miles south of the 280 bypass. They just give the most convoluted directions ever. We're just eight miles south of the 280 bypass down 431 South. Might as well give us the exact latitude and longitude because that, to me, makes no sense at all. Ah, oh, cool, ha ha. <laughs> 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 That's hot. <laughs> what do you got there? Wow. I have all this gold. I don't know where to sell it. What should I do with it? Don't ask me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything I do is wrong. Tell me what's the reason. Um. See, what I'm thinking with this one is it's n it's a commercial, but they didn't really want to pay actors to do it. So they just stuck these two older ladies in a room and um, just, just started recording them having a normal conversation because... It's <laughs> <laughs> so wild. Oh my God. Well, we have to find a good place. You can't go wrong when you turn your unwanted golden jewelry into cash. Wow, the um the the story progression there was like from here to here. Oh, it's the credit Mac Daddy. The credit Mac Daddy is in the house. The Credit Mac Daddy, wow. It's good to see Weird Al Yankovic is still alive and kicking. And I, I really could not think of a better person to buy a used car from. If I, if I rock up to a car yard and I see a guy wearing dollar signs and he's got a big fat gold watch, I know that I can trust him. He's got a pimp hat, he's got a pimp cane. He's a really, really trustworthy person. And I want to buy uh, a, an absolute crap box from him. Walking, talking, bringing it down. I know what you need. You need a car. One that looks good that'll take you very far. 
Got credit problems? Not these days. The Credit Mac Daddy gets you out of the haze. If you got a good job in $7.99, call the Credit Mac Daddy. Leave your worries behind. This remix of Sicko Mode is crazy. Mr. Credit Mac Daddy, he's got some flow. He's got some bars. He needs to hook up with a Daddy Long Neck and Wide Neck. Make a vid. Now that's a music collab that we need to see. Georgia Car Credit in Moultrie, Tifton, and Thomasville. Soon to be in Albany and Valdosta. Great cars, no credit check. Great cars, you can be a criminal and we'll still sell them to you. It's as easy as pie. And um, why did the guy get a pie smashed in his face? Was there a reason for that? I guess you don't really need a reason for it. It's, it's really funny. <laughs> Hi, Marty McDermott for the Martin Fine Furniture Store. The oldest furniture business in Indiana. And our prices are out of this world. 50% off everything, every day. A free chair with every sofa purchase. Free delivery, free setup, and six months free financing. Mr. Martin, did all these Martians buy our furniture? Yeah, and I hope they don't expect free delivery all the way to Mars. You got that right. I love it. I, I, not even kidding. I love it. My name is Cecil. I'll sell you gas or diesel cars on my lot. Some of them new, some of them not. My name's Cecil. <laughs> I want a girl. I don't want no bitch. I don't want no thought. <laughs> I got a tricked out crew. They got one job to do. Tend to your needs, take good- Whoa, step back a second, old oh, man. Good lordy. We need a rap battle between Credit Mac Daddy and Cecil Myers. Care, make sure they treat you honest and fair. So many deals far and above. One of these babies you're sure to love. Come find a car and we'll do our part. Cause I'm Cecil Myers, the dealer with a heart. Now, I think it's fair to say that Cecil Myers is the whitest person in the history of white people. 1998.9. Mr. Spock and I have beamed down to make contact with the inhabitants of Omicron 12. I'm detecting the presence of alien life, Captain. Now, you can see what I mean when I say that you get stuck down a rabbit hole of terrible, terrible commercials. Now, these commercials are the perfect way to spend a Saturday night, get a six pack, get a joint, have some fun, watch these videos. I guarantee to you it's going to be the most fun you've ever had in your entire life. And that does bring us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had a laugh just like I did. I hope you go and check out some more terrible commercials like I'm going to do right now. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Bye-bye.